Hello and welcome to the new video tutorial and in this video I am showing you a case study that is related to the extramarital affairs. So as you can see this is an extramarital affair and this is the data which has been I think captured around some 50 or 60 years back when you know scientists were doing some experiment and what I did is I basically created my own question close to 31 question. And as you can see the color coding they basically indicate the nature of the questions like for example something that is related to the data data exploration visualization statistics like probability and hypothesis testing and then finally the machine learning so my whole idea is that with this data set you can do a complete practice of uh, of your uh, uh, you know data analysis skills and get the output and make it relevant and my plan is that uh, I will be publishing more and more case studies in coming days as um, I've been getting the requests and comments and uh, I will be putting a solutions for these case studies uh, into you know some of the technologies that I know like uh, Excel for sure uh, then we have uh, Python I know the R the Tableau or Power BI and as and when I will uh, create a solution I will put it in the description of this video so make sure if you if you need a solution you check the description of the video right and uh, as soon as they are ready I will be preparing that also I will notify you by where once the case study solution will be prepared then I can notify you in a separate video altogether so that notification is something you are receiving so make sure you subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell icon if you want to get the notification uh, for my every single solution and video all right so with that uh, with that in mind you know let's start with the columns and before i start even with the columns where is this data set because that's the problems i've seen many of you have faced so if i go here so on my channel uh, i keep all of my data sets at one single place so as you can see uh, in the data sets under the case study folder so if I come to the data sets you need first folder is the case study in that the last one affair data set with description description is nothing but column description so that's what the name of this data set is there so the first column is nothing but uh, a simple serial number maybe I have sorted it that's why the number is have gone up and down and uh, that's something we can ignore and there is an action that is attached to it depends on what program software you are using or programming you are using you can apply the uh, procedure which I will show you in my questions then second is the affairs column this is like an uh, for these person who are having extramarital affair and here I have uh, first thing that uh, here if the value affair value is greater than zero then then there is no affair then there is no then there is affair otherwise there is no affair right so if I put the filters over here you will see oh okay I will just select these and then put a filter right that will be better filter and now right so you have 0 1 2 3 4 5 and I'll show you what what does it mean so but the whole idea is that I'm giving this uh, scenario that if it is greater than 0 that means if it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, then affair is there. Otherwise, there is no affair. So this is a column affair status that you need to create with no and yes with this logic, right? So that's like the basic thing I wanted to establish before we move ahead. But what does these values mean? Well, as per the researchers, if I show you uh, affairs, how often engaged in extramarital sexual intercourse during the past year? Zero is like none and uh, with this value we are saying that no affair. One is like once, twice, three times. Uh, seven is like four to ten times. Twelve is like monthly, weekly or daily. So that's basically showing uh, the affair intensity. Uh, then we have gender column which is quite straightforward, right? affair uh, gender is male female then age is very straightforward I don't think there is a coding okay there is a coding well the coding is that numeric variable 17.5 equals to 120 20 is like 20 to 24 27 indicates 25 to 29 so that is something 
the coding that has been provided over here in the second tab right now the years married is also a coding so if you see years married is like 0 0.125 0 0.417 and all what does it indicate well again it has the uh, range of values 0 0.125 indicates three months or less 0 0.417 indicates four or six months 0 0.75 six months so on and so forth which you can read right uh, children well are there children from the marriage yes or no religiousness again a coded column which is numeric variable coding religious one is anti second is not at all third is slightly fourth is somewhat and very religious right so that's basically a coding for this column and then we have the education column again it is a coding right nine indicates grade school 12 indicates high school some college college graduate some graduate work master's degree 20 is phd and md right so that's the coding occupation occupation is again you have some coding over here over here a uh, numeric variable coding occupation for hollings hat classification that's something you can search it on the google right I, and i don't have any question that is related to this i have not gone very very much in depth because then it will be like 50 or 100 different questions but yeah i have that's why i have not uh, i'm not showing you any occupation related coding and then you have the rating which is a uh, numeric variable of self rating of marriage again i think an important variable which is uh, having coding like 1 2 3 4 5 um there you have the value very unhappy somewhat unhappy average happier than average and very happy right so these are the columns that we have one of the important thing is like i said affair value is greater than zero that's affair otherwise no affair so that is something you need to create for example like this it's a simple if condition in excel if b2 is zero then no otherwise for everything it is yes right so that's what i've done but depend again depends on whether you are using tableau python or whatever you are using you know you need to create this as a solution another thing is you need to decode these tables so that you can bring in the values over here again in excel using lookup but in respective systems you need to figure it out what do you need to do right that's also an interesting or uh, another way about how you clean up your data for easy understanding but the very first question starts with open or import the data in the system well if you are in excel you will be opening it but if you are in any other system power bi tableau or any system then you will be importing it now let's move on to the next question and the, the next question is how many rows it should not be or it should be and how many rows and columns are present that means what i want you to do is figure it out like uh, again simple rows and columns it just talks about you know the size of the data we are dealing with if there are just couple of hundred rows like in this case it has 601 rows then you are basically uh, you don't have any problem and there are like hardly seven or eight different columns but if you have let's say 25 columns 1 million rows then you will be care you should be careful about uh, before applying any function that is related to data exploration visualization and all because it will going to take a lot of time right that's the whole scenario behind asking this question like figuring out what is the size of the data that we are really dealing with now the third question is uh, what is the data type of each column and if there is a mismatch like for example this is numeric this is text this is numeric again text all of this is something if data type is a mismatch then you should basically uh, correct it now the next question is remove the first column which is unnamed so this one so wherever you are uh, or what type of tool you use uh, look at that uh, and find out the command or functionality about how you will remove this second create a new column affair status like i have showed it earlier create a new column like affair status where zero indicate that there is no affair and any other value than zero is indicate that there is an affair right 
and with this question you should also consider these questions as well where you have these coded values so wherever the coded values are present you need to bring in those values over here right uh, zero for zero uh, for this age years married religiousness education occupation you don't have but you can research on google about this hollings or you can figure in the hollings uh, head classification that should be basically be able to give you and then after that uh, you need to figure it out if there is any missing values in the entire data set right if it is present mention it if it is not then don't mention it i mean say that there is no missing values but it is an important observation because missing values impact the calculations and we need to do a treatment of the missing values that's why finding before starting any exploration or anything finding missing values are important okay now it's now we are starting with the uh, exploration and visualization related questions so the first question is how many males and females are present in the data set right so you have the column male and female Create a count table and a percentage to visualize the data. That will basically shows you the balance or imbalance into the data for the given categories because affairs will be related to either male or female. So we need to know if there are like 100 males and just 5 females, that means it is heavily imbalanced. But if you have, let's say, uh, 45 males and 55 females or vice versa, then it is sort of a balanced one, right? So you need to visualize this into a table with the count and percentage. All right. Now the next question is, what is the most common age in the data set, right? That you need to figure out after you have found, after you are done with the decoding of values, right? Um, after that, uh, is overall common age differ by female and male? Visualize and interpret the output. I think pretty straightforward. You need to create a two by two table or a table with your um, for the most common age for male and female and show it in both count and percentage and then interpret your output. Uh, do male more involved in extramarital affair than women? Again, a very straightforward question from a count perspective that uh, whether males are more involved in extramarital or not. Um, usually in which age women are tend to involve more in extra marital affair again the more word indicate more word basically creates sort of a situation so it again require a table with the age and a woman and extra marital whether the extra marital affair is present or not and then you should give your uh, interpretation does low number greater than less year of five marriage impact the uh, extramarital affair or not right so over here we have less than five is like a coded values over here so that's the question i have taken not five years but the five value uh, five is a value over here so i'll just correct it i think I, when i was writing it impact the extramarital affair or later years right that means over here that means uh when 7 10 15 so the comparison with this with this right after that you have uh, does low or high number of married years have more impact on both male or female for extramarital affairs again a high level observation from the data set whether high or low number of years impact the male or female for extramarital affair again three different variables are here right let's move on to the next one is there any relation between age and years married for extra marital affair again three different variables age years and extra marital affair finding out the relation so think about what functions or methodology you will use to find a relation how many children or non-children values are present in the data set show it by count percentage and visualize it again a very simple one what we looked at earlier how i think you should be able to do it if you have done it already does having no children result into extramarital affair right so again you have this and you have affair status so this is for the entire um, you know population 
but you can think about after entire population you can give it a shot on the gender as well whether in case of a female having no children or male having no children you know really uh, go, goes in the direction of extramarital affair all right after that uh, what is the distribution of religiousness in our data set right so religiousness is there uh, goes without saying that you need to first decode this and then find the distribution right um and also you need to write your interpretation as well maybe a small text so do less religious people have more extramarital affair or more religious people again uh, from a affair perspective all right now we are coming to the probability right some good hands on statistics after the basic statistics so what is the probability of male having an affair number 1 what is the probability of male with children having an affair right so think about it what you were going to do hint is that uh, create a 2 by 2 table uh, or a contingency table and that should be able to uh, you know solve most of these scenarios what is the probability of affair for male with high religiousness versus male with low religiousness so this should be able to tell whether religiousness impacts the affair probability for male and female after that we have do probability of female with children are more inclined to affair with no children so that's something again uh, an impact of variable then we have hypothesis testing uh male and female are equally attracted to external affair is this true or not so you need to form the null and alternative hypothesis employ the methodology based on the data set and then find the answer again test the hypothesis male having children engage more in extramarital affair than female um third hypothesis question is if five males are randomly selected then what is the probability that they do not have a fair right so in this data set if you randomly choose then what would be your output or percentage for the probability or the probability value or the percentage all right after that here comes the machine learning divide the data set into targets and feature data set you need to identify what are they decode the categorical variables for machine learning right create a train and test data set and then you apply the machine learning on train and create a machine learning model you need to think about what model you will going to create in this case or apply the machine learning uh, and select the model for that and then create a machine learning model um evaluate the model and test the data test on the data set and finally provide your own input to the model for example value only for one row that uh, one row that is basically you know values like that are dependent values you know provide that into your model and see what output your model is giving so all in all this is what the case is study i thought it is very interesting still there can be so many questions that can be created but i just thought it will be good from a beginner to intermediate level uh, knowledge a person who is having a knowledge in this so as i said you know i will be also solving this i have solved it a couple of scenarios right uh, for me i think um, hypothesis testing and probability is something i wanted to take a look at but rest other is is straightforward for me so you let me know uh, how how do you find these questions complex enough you want me to create more complex less complex what it is and then accordingly i will take the input like i am taking it from my various different videos and uh, pro provide you the more and more case studies with that thank you so much for watching and and stay tuned for the solution of these videos i'll be uh, give putting a link in the description soon or uh, sending out the uh, sending out the solution video or publishing the video which will give you the notification thank you